Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov and in this training video my hidden camera will help me to show you the common mistakes that nail technicians do in day-to-day -day practice. So we will spy how the beginner works and we will see her mistakes. And also I'm going to show you the professional works. So let's get started. The first common mistake of nail technicians when you use the wrong speed while removing the pterygia. Please never use the reverse speed while you moving your drill bit from the center to the left side. This way you should always choose the forward speed. And now you will see when the professional works with the reverse speed and he moves the drill bit from the center to the right side of the nail plate. And now I'm gonna show you the second big mistake that nail technicians do when they don't prepare the nail plate at all. If you don't remove the shine and applying primering and base gel, you can easily remove the extended nail from the nail plate and you can see it right now. Do you like this effect? That's very, very funny when the client comes home and removes this way her nails. So guys, to avoid that, you can always follow the correct laws of nail extensions education. And now you will see uh, when the professional is preparing the nail plate correctly using the file and removing the shine from this. But if you have shaped the nail plate already and you think that you have done everything that's needed, this way you are wrong too because you need to primer nails and apply the base coat. And now you can see how I easily can remove the nail plate that was shaped already but haven't prepared with the primer and the base gel. It's not easy to remove them without any preparing at all, but re the result is the same. Do you like it? So you can be sure that preparing the nail is the most serious thing in your work. And now you can see how to apply the base perfectly without primering nails. So let's review the next mistake. I didn't told you about it before, but you should know that it's not needed to tear the form from the upside, especially when you do square shaped nails. This way you can get nails bended down. I mean, you, you can't control the, the correct position of your form if you tear it them. I hope guys you understand you just need to only f remove uh, the form from the paper and just place it on the finger and just stick wings of the form from the downside. And I also hope my English speaking subscribers will make the detailed description down in the comments because uh, it's not easy to speak about not understandable things even for Russian students and now you can see how the professional work with these forms and how he applies them on fingers and when you apply gel nails the main thing is to place the form correctly because it's impossible to move the product after sculpting okay and the next mistake when you cover the full nail plate with the sculpting gel on the first row. The matter is that is the gel is liquid. It's also heated from the body temperature. And when you spend a lot of time while covering the full nail plate, it can round down from the nail plate and put on the skin. And this will be the worst thing ever. Because you will force to remove everything from the nail plate and, and start again. And only one correct mistake when you only apply the gel only on the length of the nail if you are a beginner. And other techniques only for high-end professionals. Who can apply their work quickly. And you can also choose the thick gel. And it will help you to do it faster. 
For example, the sculpting mix gel, which is available in my shop. And let's review the next mistake of nail technicians. Uh, this is the most popular mistake when people keep brushing their hands from the first time. They always uh, make too much pressure on the brush and it's not easy for them to sculpt the nail correctly. Instead of sculpting the stress zone, they only posing the gel on the sides. Using this way, they will never get the perfect sculpted nail before they start moving the brush easily without too much pressure and leave the large amount of the gel on the vertical line which creates the stress zone vertical stress zone of the nail plate and now you can see how professional applies uh, this work and it's also important to use the correct and comfortable sculpting brush and it's not needed to buy a lot of brushes you can buy only one brush for gel in our store so the next mistake when you remove the form incorrectly please do it only this way peel it from the finger at first and after pull it from the downside okay and the next important thing is using the correct wipe and when you're using the small one this way the tacky layer can get on your skin or on the skin of your client and you should know that the tacky layer is the most allergenic thing, the most allergenic liquid in our work. Please use only large wipes for removing this layer. Because it absorbs all the tacky layer. And I hope you understand it. And the next problem when you trying to shape nails uh, without using the drill machine and the drill bit so you spend a lot of time and you waste your time on useless work because you can take only one drill bit and remove most of the gel very quickly you can also use the, the slow speed if you are afraid to work with the drill machine and now you can see how the professional removes it quickly and easily using the barrel jewel bit which is not burning the nail plate at all and it works a long time about one or two years you can sterilizing for a million times without spoiling and for removing the remaining gel we always need to use the file but some nail technicians keep it incorrectly they just keep their hand in the middle and this way you will never get the result because your work will be inefficiently this way you work with the small area of the file and your work is too slow let's take a look how the professional moves his file he does it quickly each motion is accurate neat perfect step by step he applies his work at first she works with the length of each nail and after he works with side walls remove flow the gel from the side walls and the next step when he removes the gel from the top of the nail and he creates the C curve for the each nail. You should choose uh, the file of 100 grit. And also, I can tell you that it's very important the products and tools that you use. Now I will show you the difference between high quality drill bit and the bad quality drill bit. From the left side, you, you can see the drill bit with a very sharp corner. It's not suitable for nail works. And you can do anything with it. 
because you can only hurt the skin using this drill bit. Of course, on my video, the blood is not real. But I assure you, you will cut all fingers using this drill bit. So you should choose definitely the correct drill bit which is available in my shop now. And now you can see that the professional uses this drill bit and he pushes on it without any problems and doesn't hurt the client's skin and doesn't cut it. So at the end of preparing nails for, for the nail design you should apply the final fine shaping of each nail, remove the dust and cover proximal pads with the primer. And the last mistake that I want to review in this video is applying very thick layer of the gel paint on the nail plate. You should remember that when you work with gel paints, you should work with it carefully using only thin layers and cure it in LED lamp or UV lamp about one minute. And if you apply the thick row of the gel paint, you will get this result. Just take a look. I think that it's not, it's not good to fix all 10 nails. Just please don't rush when you do it. Because it's better to make only one time perfectly than remake 10 times. Just guys, let's take a look uh, how to do it perfectly. And as you can see, I'm working with the thin brush. In the next video, I will show you how, uh, how to prepare brushes perfectly, how to cut the brush around to make it thinner. And as you can see, we can draw very thin line using this brush. My favorite brushes of Kalinsky number zero or zero zero. Zero number I use for drawing stripers, thin lines, and zero zero brush I'm using for drawing patterns, details, any other tiny elements. I just want to uh, tell you guys that all products you can order in my shop. I don't sell the useless stuff because I suggest only products that I use in day-to-day -day work. You have to understand that you don't need 100 tools. You need only 10 tools, for example, to do your perfect nails. That's why I don't have the large store with the large amount of products and tools. I use only the small price list, which you can find in the information box under the video. It has only 37 products. So you can buy them and start doing your nails. I think additional things like rubbing alcohol, wipes and any other stuff you can find in your country. And it's not easy to find perfect drill beads, brushes and of course the sculpting mix gel in particular country. The shipping costs $9 to any place of the world and it takes about two or three weeks. So at the end of this video let's take a look on nails that were applied by professional. They look amazing and I think that this nail design always looks fashionable. I'm loving these colors and combination of these colors and I'm loving uh, these patterns or monogram. I think you can um, create different combinations of colors using gel paints and add something yours to this nail design. So guys, just tell me your thoughts about this new video format on my channel. And don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. Have a nice day!